Oh, good. <laughs> hey, you guys! Oi, gente! So, in today's video, we are gonna talk about six habits six. that Americans do and six habits that Brazilians do. Gringo Casal. Casal Gringo. Casal Gringo. Ele não sabe nem o nome do canal, gente. Ai, meu Deus. <laughs> I'm saying that you don't even know the name of the channel, honey. <laughs> anyway, who starts? Uh, ladies first. No Brasil, se você tá dirigindo, o farol tá vermelho, tá vermelho. Você não pode virar, não fazer nada, né? Porque tá vermelho. <laughs> Mas aqui, se você tá no farol vermelho e você precisa virar à direita, só se a direita, se for a esquerda, você tem que parar mesmo. Mas se for da direita, você olha, não tem carro vindo, você pode ir. Mas aí no Brasil não, né? Tá vermelho, tá vermelho, você não tem que pode fazer nada. Aí aqui só os lugares que você não pode fazer isso, vai ter uma plaquinha assim, ó. Não vire à esquerda mesmo se tiver vermelho. Ah, esquerda, direita. Aí se não tiver a plaquinha falando que não pode virar, tá vermelho, não tem carro vindo, você pode virar. Então eu acho que isso é muito legal, porque, né, flui mais. Legal. Uh, so I'm gonna start with something that I've noticed from uh, my wife and, and oh my some gosh. colleagues that I've noticed as well when they're, when they're visiting from Brazil. Uh, they take the toothbrush with them when, when they go places, which is like, it's like a second cell phone for them. Like, you gotta have your toothpaste and your toothbrush, you know? After every meal, they go in the, the restroom and they, uh, they, wash their, they wash their teeth. So dental hygiene is apparently very important yes. in uh, Brazilian culture, which, you know, is a good reason to, uh, to have. You know, she's a, is a strong reason why I love her, because she's always got such nice oh smelling gosh. breath. So this is the difference. And then, and then we don't do midday either. We just do it at, at night. I think after we're done, right before bed, it's usually yeah. like a two time a day thing. So three to four times for the Brazilians, depending on your meal count, yeah. and probably just like two, maybe sometimes at the most for for Americans. So that's a that's a cool thing Brazilians do. I think more Americans should try to be more. It's not a bad thing to want to be like that. Yeah. So the next one is here. When do we say bye to academia? O personal trainer que trabalha na, na academia, ele não vai te ajudar. Tipo, se você falar, ah, você pode me falar quais exercícios você tem que fazer? Ele vai falar, não. Se você pagar ele a parte, aí ele vai te ajudar. Mas no Brasil, você paga a academia e o personal trainer tá lá, você tem que pagar mais, sabe? É claro que ele não vai ser focado só em você, ele vai ser focado para todos os alunos que estão na academia. Mas ele vai te ajudar, ele vai falar, ó, oh, a gente pode fazer isso, não sei o que, você faz esses, esses, esses exercícios hoje, aí você termina o exercício, você vai lá nele, ele te passa o próximo. E aqui não. Puxa o treino, tá lá, fazendo nada. Aí se ele tem algum aluno, aí ele fica só no aluno. Que nem outro dia a gente foi numa máquina. I'm saying about the day that we went to oh, yeah, a the machine. Oh, yeah, guy, he was like, whatever. Yeah, and then the guy came to us and he's like, do you guys need help? And we're like, yeah, we are trying to figure out how to use this machine. And then he was like, oh, there's a cord here you can pull, and it's how you fix it. And I was like, okay. It didn't really help much. Yeah, no. I thought he, like, since he worked there, I thought he was yeah. gonna help us and put for us, like. They're kind together. of more just observing. They're not really so much yeah. trying to be like active participants. But I think sometimes it varies on the personal trainer. They always smile a lot. They always, every picture I've seen, like, of our Brazilians, like famous Brazilians, they always have these big grins mm. and these pretty white teeth, which maybe is why they're brushing their teeth so much. Maybe that could be it. But they always seem to have something, like, to be happy about, and they're very, like, just joyous, like, an outlook in general. It's, like, very charismatic and, like, you know, I want to say jolly almost, like, Excited to, happy. excited to be like wherever they are, and I, you know, it's enjoyable. It's a, it's a good energy. Good sympathy. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and then it leads me to the next one, because for me the next one is that Americans they are very straightforward, very blunt, very frank. Like if they have, need to tell you something, they're not gonna think like, oh, but if I say like that, they can get upset. Let me. Think. No, they're like, no, I need to say that. I'm gonna say that. And they go and say. 
And sometimes for for me, for example, like my experience, sometimes they just come and say something I'm like, oh, that was rude. But then I'm like, no, actually it's not. Like they needed to tell me that, so they just did. And for me, if I need to say something, I'm like, hi, but if I say like this, they're not gonna like, let me think. And then I overthink and I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a good thing about them. I like it. They're very blunt, boom, I need to say that and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, one thing I've noticed about Brazilians, at least in Brazil, is that all the houses are different colors. The what? All the houses, uh -huh. the casas, are many different colors. There's like blue, or there could be yeah. like yellow, or like a red house, and it's all like painted like these really bright, vibrant colors. And I think it's just pretty cool to see that like across the landscape. You see like yeah. all these different, it's like a rainbow of costas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because here it's exactly like the scenes. Like all the houses are the same. They have the big yard. So the next one is their biggest meal is dinner and not lunch. So for lunch they have like a sandwich or whatever, something really quick. And you guys don't have one hour lunch, lunch break, right? At work. Uh, it depends. It depends. depends. But usually they, when they don't, it's because lunch is not like, like us, like it's our biggest yeah. meal. So we need one hour and even one hour it's like a little bit tight. But yeah, and dinner they have like the big meal, and for us dinner it's like oh a sandwich or a salad or something like that, and it's all good. But that's a, another difference. Yeah. But I think I've I've gotten their habit now. Like lunch is not my biggest meal anymore. You pick up some new American habits. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, so another one for me is that I noticed that they like to wear sandals a lot. It seems like, uh, and again, well, this is, flip flops. Maybe? Yeah, flip flops, flip flops. I like you know, Again, on all the the scenes and the media content that I see, it's like everyone's wearing slippers yes. everywhere. Or, excuse me, flip flops rather. And uh, I just noticed that that seems to be like a really popular yeah, I like big it, fashion like, thing. She wears them a lot too, even yeah, in, like it even right here. Because I think your feet collect all the grime from the street. There's why right, there's the bottom of the flip flop, so don't collect any dirt. Hey, if it makes you happy, you know, let's you gotta pick. That's your why I keep using it. You gotta pick your battles, folks. I'm not gonna tell her what she's gotta wear. Yeah, you better not. <laughs> yeah, and another one that I see it's like if you are walking the street and someone comes to you and they think your dress is pretty, they're oh, your dress is so beautiful. Like, wow, well, I think it's beautiful. Let me go and tell them that it's beautiful. Uh, Very outgoing. Yeah. I remember one time I was walking with him somewhere and then the lady just came, oh, your dress is so beautiful. And I was like, what? I was like, I didn't understand what she said because I, was, I wasn't expecting. So I was like, what does she want? So like, what? And then I realized and she was like, yay, your dress. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you all. <laughs> uh, so last thing for me before we wrap up this, uh, this nice little insightful conversation. And of course, if you like our videos, you know, please uh, like continue and to like, subscribe and, like and, and subscribe. And, and comment here if you have like any costume in Brazil that you don't see here in the US or in the US that you see in Brazil, so we, we can yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, good costume. Because we didn't think, we, we are not saying all of them, but... And if you want another video of it, we can make another one because there's a lot of habits. We got a lot of ideas, y'all. Yeah. We got a lot of ideas. And it's seen that... That's like... Okay! That was definitely getting it. Yeah. Alright, so, you ready for this last one? Yes! So, my one last thing about Brazil I've observed so far is they like to take their time with things. They're, they're not on anyone's schedule. They'll get there when they get there and just live with it, pal. Because they're not on your time. But I think it's beautiful because I'm actually not like that either. That's right. That's why we are always like three hours late for everything. We're actually about to be late to a, a game night with our friends because we're Sorry, playing this right now. So 
My bad on that one. Uh, yeah, I love that they're uh, they're just doing their own thing. They live in the moment, uh, and they don't take anything for granted. And I just I like that. And I'm sorry for their bosses. <laughs> they're waiting for them to come in, and I'm glad. No, but I think it too. depends. Like for example, for my job, my work. She's very punctual. For yeah, her. I'm never late. Yeah, like, that's true. Never. But if it's so, just something like no one needs me at the time. It's just something that like, oh, well, I'm going to be there, so I'm going to enjoy it, so it's something that me, if I'm late, then it's my problem, not yeah. the part, I'm not going to... Um, Make a huge effort to yeah, so go out of your I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to give any issue for the, no. Just say it in Portuguese. Eu não vou prejudicar ninguém com isso. Então, I don't care, like, I'm late, I'm late. What yeah. can I say? <laughs> Fair enough, yo. <laughs> What's that? That's how it is. <laughs> I'm very so weird. What is this? Deuces. Let's just. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, punctuality is not big, but that's relative. I think, you know, my wife, for example, she's very professional, she's very courteous, she's always on time, but I just like that they're, uh, they're they take their time and get into social, social things, so, yeah. it's cool. Honey, we're always three hours late, I'm always one hour late. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to check out some more of our other content and some of our uh, fresh takes on, on things, please go ahead and check out these links there below and uh, we'll make sure that we serve you the best, uh, the best of the best as far as YouTube content. So, uh, yeah, and please click the like button. Yeah, we need to support. And comment and subscribe and let's be a big family. Woo! <laughs> Beijo. Ciao. Prayers up. <laughs> When are you gonna learn Portuguese? That's what this video is for, so I can learn Portuguese better. Well, you just talking English in here. It's easier for me to understand. <laughs>